Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Tuesday, September the 20th, 2022. Tuesday, September the 20th, 2022. Today was kind of, not kind of, today was a sad day for me in, in watching General Hospital. I, I did get teary-eyed, um, yeah, sad. Um, especially when, you know, Brando sees him, they're not knowing what's happening. They have to get Sasha out the room. Um, and Portia's working on him, you know, Portia and, and the nurses. I'm surprised they didn't call code blue, but I guess the doctor was already in there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that the code blue already went out. That's why Sasha and the team came in. But it was sad to me because, Gladys really had not gotten to get in to see him talking, right? Sasha text Gladys, you know, but I don't think they ever showed Gladys talking to to uh, Brando awake. So that was just really sad. And once Portia had to come out to tell Gladys and Sasha what happened just the the anguish it was just really really emotional for me um I don't know who that old man was talking to Sonny I mean was it Brando's dad possibly I don't know who he was you know normally they have Mike visit Sonny for things I don't know who this guy was but um he was the one told Sonny you know what, you're needed. I don't know how I know, but you're needed. And then Sunny, Sunny gets there and finds out the news. It was really, really heartbreaking because he get, he did get to speak to Brando awake. And then Portia had to tell TJ and they just don't know what, you know, what could have happened because the surgery was a success. And everything went well with the surgery. Brando's symptoms, what they're saying, were not in conjunction to what happened, the, the operation they performed. It, it, what happened to him should not have happened to him. And Portia ended up going to Finn, asking Finn to look at, you know, the report because she feels something, something is amok. Something happened and they don't know what happened. So I kind of think that's going to be a mystery that comes into play. And I'm trying to figure out how, I mean, was Brando drugged? What? But there was no time. I mean, he was, he didn't even eat the dessert at Kelly's. They were all sitting around the table and he was watching, what's his name? Uh, Dex and, and Jocelyn. And when he, everything happened, we saw everything happen in real time. And then when when Christina came in, the, the would-be murderer left. You know, my whole thing is when Dex found out that Brando was awake and talking, did he somehow, but see, Sasha never, she never left. I don't know how. Dex could have slipped in unless they're going to show some scene where Dex slipped in and put something in Brando's IV. I don't know, but something happened that killed Brando. You know, so that's going to be interesting where that storyline goes. But yes, in fact, Brando died and it was sad. I really, really liked the actor, I liked Brando's storyline. You know, I liked Brando, and this is what I'm doing with the recap today. Yes, other things happened on the show, but I'm not going to talk about them. I'll talk about them tomorrow. Um, this is going to be a shorter recap, and it's just going to be on Brando. I'm not even going to Comment Corners because Comment Corners is is on Friday's episode. I will try to, you know get to some of the comments tomorrow on tomorrow's episode. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about what 
memories I liked about Brando. What I liked about Brando was when he came to town and he came to town, you know, and he, he did this heroic thing by saving Carly during that warehouse shootout, okay? And during that warehouse shootout, I'm trying to remember where was Jason? Was Jason still not back on the show at this point in time? I don't think I don't think Jason was back. I think we still were in the days of of Drew Kane being Jason. I kind of think, and, and somebody remind refresh my memory because the 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 boy Dev, the teenager Dev was living with the Corinto, the Corinthos family and Dev was that was supposed to be Sonny's nephew, cousin Dev. And that's when he got Gladys to pretty much cooperate the fact that Dev was Brando's son. Of course he paid her handsomely for that, got her car. Um but when Brando came to town and he found out, you know, that he was supposed to have this son and the way he found out was Gladys put on social media on Facebook, she was standing with her grandson and Brando was like, I know I didn't have a son. That's what brought him to Port Charles. And he actually went along with it because Sonny explained to him why he did it. Dev was crucial for Sonny getting out of, I forget what foreign country that was alive. Dev was the one that helped get him out and, and, you know, got Sonny to safety. So Sonny just returned the favor because Dev had no one. And Brando continued the lie. He continues, okay, then this is my son. And Dev and Brando developed a relationship slowly, not really a father-son, but Dev respect um, Brando. And he would even come to Brando, especially when he was starting to have a crush on Jocelyn and get advice. And Brando was giving him like fatherly advice, you know? So he, he was a stand-up guy, even though he had a mother like Gladys and he, Deb was all for family. I mean, not Deb, I'm sorry. Uh, Brando was all about family. And then him and Sasha's relationship just it just happened and he liked her you know so that was interesting I mean when you really think about the the story that they developed with Brando over these couple of years that he's been on the the show maybe three now goodness um he's been a likable character I thought he was going to be a long time character on the show there was a whole lot they could have accomplished with Brando, the only mishap or the only thing that really shouldn't have happened was that one night stand, that fling with him and Molly, that was just thrown in. That was just, that should have never happened. And I don't even know why they wrote it that way. It was, it, it was ridiculous, but that was the only story or the only thing I didn't like Brando involved with. Um, other than that, i liked everything about him. So anyway, that's it for today. It's it's not too much else I'm, I can say. I want to say Sasha had flashback memories from the day she met him, you know, to through just the different events in their relationship and their life, the way it evolved. They really did it really nicely, you know. Um, so I was really happy with the way, you know, Brando's final episode on General Hospital went. So I will be back tomorrow. I will cover some of the points um, that happened today on tomorrow's uh, daily recap. And like I said, uh, depending on how many comments, because we do have a lot of comments, I will skim through the comments on comment corners. But if you have a favorite scene or favorite story of Brando, a favorite segment that Brando had on General Hospital. Um, if you put that in comment corner, that would be nice. You know, it's kind of nice to remember some of the things as they were flashing by in Sasha's mind. I remembered each and every one of those scenes, 
you know. So I would love to hear from you on that. Um, I will be back tomorrow with the another episode of the General Hospital Daily Recaps.